Bomb time. Let's get the welcome. bomb going. Welcome and welcome, sisters and brothers, to another exciting edition of the now international Bible radio show, The Bomb of Gilead. I am your host, Brother Julius. Hopefully, Brother Will is listening. He's on the road coming from Iowa, traveling mercies in Jesus' name. Yes. That is my brother from another mother. But I got my brother from the ATL from another mother here tonight. Oh, man, one of my favorite brothers in Israel, Brother Asaph. What's up, house. Julius? What's man, up, bro? How you doing, brother? Man, you know we good, bro. Oh, man. Welcome back home to the bomb. Man, it feel good to be home, man. Sisters and brothers, this is an Israel of God production. Please subscribe, like, share, post, and check out the other Israel of God productions, sisters and brothers, that we got something going on uh, Monday through Friday, and I believe even Sunday, if I'm correct. I think it's my brothers from the Phoenix camp. Stick yep. to the script. Stick Man, to the script. I want to say welcome, everybody. We are broadcasting live from the ATL. Also from, man, Chicago. Chicago, IOG, Riverdale headquartered here, sisters and brothers. But I want to welcome everybody from around the world on this one. Also, for those who are new tonight, again, Welcome to the Israel of God production of the Bomb of Gilead, where we mm -hmm. teach the Bible by subject and title. The bomb is the healing word for yes, a sick is. and dying world. Yes, it is. And that word is the word of God. Amen. Man, shout out to everybody on all the social media networks. Amen. Pastor Johnson, Bethel House of God. Pastor Man, Johnson. In the house, broadcasting, simulcasting from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I yes. will be there. God willing, I will be there in the morning, sisters and brothers. Come on out if you're in the Florida state of Florida. Come on out. That's it. That come is it. That is yeah. it. And, and, and brother Julius, I get a chance to go see the family in Raleigh this Sabbath. So yeah. Raleigh family, I'm looking forward to coming to see y'all. And guess what? I'm coming down to see Pastor Johnson too. He already knows. So oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to all of this. And it's uh, oh, you know, man. it's just a, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to. To travel with this word, bro. I yeah. mean, for real, for real. Brother ASAP, I want to shout out to Team Bomb. Yes. Those behind the sister Debbie. Shout mm -hmm. out to Sister Maja. My brother Dre. Dope. Dre. Check out Dre. Dre throwing down along with the brothers in the vineyard. The vineyard. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. Work in. They putting that work in. Shout out to my brother on the Bay Area, Brother James Anderson. Yes. Those yes. of you in Phoenix, all over the United States and Japan. Mm -hmm. Brother and those of you who are, are chiming in on um, YouTube and the YouTube chat, also Facebook, welcome Amen. to the Amen. Bomb of Gilead. Amen. Brother, this is the basic Bible one-on-one -on -one series. This is part yes. five. Mm -hmm. this is, oh, part six. This is part, part six. six. Yeah, we got part six. Mm -hmm. Our teacher tonight would be Brother Asaph from the Israel of God Atlanta class. He is going to bring this lesson. I'm already excited. I'm ready to go. Man, it's Crystal Wells. Hi, y'all sent us them, just sent us some beautiful emojis. Let us know, y'all, with us. Thumbs up, 100s, whatever it takes, man. Hey, Seth, what you got for us tonight? Let's go. Oh, man, man. You know, so, 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 Julius, we was talking about this, the, the, the basic Bible 101 series, right? Yeah. And, and, and when we think about, you know, the, the those basic instructions that we get from this word, yes. um, you know, um, you know, sometimes we've uh, well, you know, sometimes most of the time we've allowed false doctrines to kind of come in. Right. Yes. And uh, and so we know that many 
will go visit uh you know they may they may find themselves in first thessalonians 4 and trying to find themselves going up to heaven and going up to the by and by and 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 and, and, and that is just not the case and so um i really want us to take a look at something so the so the title of this lesson is called taken right taken the death of the wicked and not the rapture wow taken the death of the wicked and not the rapture right yeah. because we have been made to believe right that we're going to be taken somewhere off this planet which is not so right and in the context that taken was used when the Lord used this, and when we start that off, and in, 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 well, when we go to that Luke 17, we're yeah. going to really get an understanding of what taken actually meant in that context. So I'm looking forward to it. Man, shout out there, Spencer. Shout That's, out. Yes, sir. Hey, Steph, let's go. Give me Isaiah 61. Yes, I sir. I'm here. Without the I'm here. Yes, sir. I'm the here. Let's hear the scripture. Tell me about. Hey, so like you do in ATL, when I'm busy ATL, you know what to do. <laughs> Isaiah 61, 1, 2, and 3. Come on, my brother. Yes, sir. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Yes. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh-huh. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Lord, those is heavy in Chicago. Go ahead, brother. Amen. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Yes. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Come on, Asaph, come on. To, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Uh-huh. And the day of vengeance of our God. Hold on, family. Go ahead. To comfort all that mourn. What else, Asaph? To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Yes. To give unto them beauty for ashes and yes. oil joy for mourning. Yes. And the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Why? That they might be called trees of righteousness. Uh huh. The planting of the Lord that right. He might be glorified. It's all about Him. It is. It is. System, it is. It it's is. It is. About Him and Him being glorified. And you know what's so funny, brother? That as we just read here in the opening script, that that I mean, Bomb One Hundred One, right? We see here that again, it's going to be about some vengeance. Right, there's a vengeance component. There's a vengeance, and that ties right in with the lesson. So praise God. I love that. I love it. I, I am ready to go ASAP. Yes, sir. Do me a yes, favor, sir. brother. Yes, sir. Evermore, give me this word. Guess what? Indeed. We have over 66 books, over 1,100 chapters, and over 30,000 verses. We ain't gonna get them all into them in one time tonight, but we're gonna deal with some of them, my brother, in Jesus' name. Hey man, you sound like you've been reading this Bible. Oh, man, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to say? What are hey, we man, let's go ahead and kick this off in Hebrews 13. And again tonight, sister, brothers, if you're just joining us, Brother Asaph is bringing us Basic Bible 101 Series, Part 6, Taken, the Death of the Wicked, Amen. and not the Rapture. And not the Rapture. Man, and I, got the rapture. I got to hear this. Amen. Amen. And bend your phones to Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. Where are we going, bro? We're going to go ahead and kick it off at verse number eight. We want verses eight and nine, brother. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. That's right. Go ahead. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. Yes, yes. Not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. That's right. So we're not supposed to be carried off with these strange doctrines, brothers and sisters. Why is that? Because God, Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Right? Yes. So if we want to know what he's going to do tomorrow, we're going to go back and see what he did yesterday. And we're going to be looking at that in this lesson, brother. Let's go to Proverbs. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs, the Man. first chapter. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. That means, brother Asaph, he don't change. He don't change, bro. He don't change. He don't change. Man. You know. Wow. The, the gift that keeps on giving. Because, you yeah. know, we fickle. We fickle. We be unchanged in a heartbeat. Right? With the quickness. With the quickness. With the right? quickness. Right? 
So that's why we are all trying to level up to him. Right. How you doing, Sharon Christian Harmon. Man, Lakitra Davis, Pretty Tanya, Crystal Wells. Oh my goodness. I hey, can't man. They 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 coming in, they stuff. They, they in. They in, praise Jesus. They guess what? Guess what? They here for that bomb, brother. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Yes, Team son. Bomb. Team bomb. Team bomb. Hashtag. Just like we got hashtag Jesus. Yeah. Hashtag team bomb, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proverbs 1 and 1, Brother Julius. We're going to get verses 1 through 7. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Yes, sir. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, mm -hmm. to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. Yes, sir. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Knowledge and discretion is, av is, is available unto us if we want to receive it, family. Go yes. ahead. Man, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So you mean to tell me, Brother Julius, that somebody that's not so wise might stop their ears up at what's trying to be said, especially when we're reading this thing straight out of the Bible? Man. It happens. But it happens almost every day. Continue to read, bro. Verse 6. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Y'all remember this verse 6, brothers and sisters, because this is going, this is the prefaces right here. This is what we're dealing with right in here. To understand, because the Lord said, without I getting it, understanding, we got to yeah. understand, right? So to understand a proverb and the interpretation. The words of the wise and their dark sayings. Go ahead, brother. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Uh-huh. The fools despite wisdom and instruction. Yes, they do. And they do it to their own hurt, brother. Wow. And we're going to see it, right? So we're going to get into the crux of this. And it's all based around Luke 17, right? Let's go to brothers. Uh, I'm sorry, Seth. Yeah. I said fools. Hey, now the Bible, hey. the word of God says that. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we, hey, hey, and we ain't calling him a fool, right? Hey. We just going by what the book say, right? So, you know, in order to not be foolish, there's things that we ought not to do to put ourselves in that category. Because we would be the ones that would put ourselves in that category by doing things that was contrary. Wow. Amen? Amen. Let's take a look at this. Luke 17. Luke 17. And Brother Julius, we're going to grab verse 1, and then we're going to go ahead and skip to verse 26. We're going to look at this and see what we got here. Then said he unto the disciples, it is possible, but uh, it, is, it is impossible, but that offices will come. Mm -hmm. But woe unto him through whom they come. That's right, and 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 and, and I love this one because brother, yeah. you, you say this all the time. Yeah, the offenses they must come, but woe unto them that do. Right, Man. skip down to twenty six, bro. What it say? And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Okay, now let's stop there for a second because see, false doctrine will have us to believe that sweet and cuddly Malibu Jesus is gonna <laughs> come get us at the time appointed. He right, said, he said Malibu. Yeah, Malibu. Yeah, 90210 Jesus, right? They think that he, they call me. Yeah, pretty Ricky, right? You know, pretty Ricky, 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 right? So they think that he's the one that's coming, right? And it says, but it, but 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 there's a warning here that says, as it was in the days of Noah, right. so shall it also be in the days of the son of man, right? Again, he don't change, that's why we went there. That's why we went there, right? Go ahead and read, bro. They did eat. Yeah, they did. They drank. They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Now, you know what, Brother Julius? I had to ask this question, right? There is nothing wrong with eating. Right. And there's nothing wrong with drinking. And there's nothing wrong with being given in marriage, right? But you got to ask yourself the question. Uh huh. What were they eating and how much were they eating? What were they drinking and how much were they consuming? Right? Ooh, ooh. And then here's the kicker. Who were they marrying? 
right? Just something to think about, right? Because they said as it was in the days of Noah. So I just wanted to drop something on that a little bit as we as we think a bit, right? Read that verse again for them. I don't think they heard you. In verse 27. Yes, sir. They did eat. Uh-huh. They, sister and brother, this was happening in the days of Noah. Yep. And the Lord says it's going to happen again. Again, exactly. They did eat. They mm -hmm. drank. They married wives. They were given in marriage mm -hmm. until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. It did what? It destroyed. Food for thought. They destroyed them all. Wow. So it was something about what was going on that wasn't pleasing. Bring it out, Asaph. Bring it was it out. something that wasn't pleasing, and they got destroyed for it. But they'll have you thinking in the day of the Lord that everything is going to be cuddly and soft and everything is going to be great and the whole nine, right? Where are we getting this from? Sister because look brother, at this. Have y'all noticed that the world is trending? Everything is tolerance, mm -hmm. acceptance. That's um, right. I mean... Uh, Right is wrong and wrong mm -hmm. is right. Well, think about it, Brother Julius. It's just like them coexist license plates. They just want everything to be, you know, wait, everything wait, wait. is everything. What did you say? Them, that, them coexist license plates. Well, they say coexist, and they got all the graven images together, and they just, they one big old happy kumbaya. Uh, nah, that ain't what it is. That ain't what it is. But that's what they want, to your point, Brother Julius. Verse 28. Yes, sir. What it say? Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, mm -hmm. they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Yes, they did. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. The, the same day, Brother Julius? That the was immediate. Day. This is immediate. So think about these immediate actions, right? You had the immediate action of what transpired in the days of Noah after the Lord began to go ahead and shut those doors, right? And we ain't talking about no movie where they got some that Malibu whoever trying to break into the trying to break into the ark. Nah, that ain't happening, yeah. right? That ain't book. That ain't book. And we're book. seeing this thing happen immediately, and we are seeing this same thing here. They even said, guess what? It was just like that in Lot's day. So we are getting a warning here, and they're not picking up what he's putting down, Teach right? Himself. Teach, keep it, Keep on reading, because they're going to see it. Go ahead. Verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day, in the day when the Lord, when the Son of Man is revealed. Right, and then, that, and then again, false doctrine, I have you to think that in the day when the Son of, uh, the Son of Man is revealed, it'll have you thinking that everything going to be soft and cuddly and soft music and all that. that that's, that's not what I read. That's not what I read. But we're going to see. What it say, Julius? Verse 30, even, I'm um, verse 31. In that day, he which shall be up on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. Uh huh. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. You know why? Because this is an urgent time right now. Yes. There is urgency yes. right now, right? Ain't no time to turn back. Ain't no time. If you guess what? They're like when the Lord said, hey, he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Guess what? What it is right now is what it is. But Don't exactly. worry about that. But mm -hmm. I, need to, I, I, I need to go to the cash station in case I need money. Negative. Negative. But Negative. I got to call my job. I got to call my job, ASAP. Man, guess what? Guess what? That call ain't worth it. That call ain't worth it. Not at this time. This is urgent. And, and this is how we know it's urgent, Julius, because of how the Lord set it up. He doesn't go ahead and begin to tell us about the days of Noah and then double that down by telling us about the days a lot yes, for us yes. to think that everything is just okay. That's right. Playtime is over with. That's it. What it say, Julius? 32, remember Lot's wife. Whoa, that's why they said don't turn back to get nothing. It said remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife turned back and turned into a pillar of salt. You got to stay on that straight. We got to stay on that focused road. What it say, Julius? Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. 
That's right, because at the end of the day, when it comes to this life that we live, it's not about the eating and the drinking and the marrying and the giving and marriages and the buying and the selling. No, it's about making sure that we're doing what does say of the Lord. And we can get caught up in the matrix, right? We yeah. can get caught up if we're not careful. So this is the warning that he was putting down. What did he say, bro? I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one... In one bed, uh -huh. the one shall be taken and the other shall be left. The one shall be what? Taken. Go ahead. And the other left. Go ahead. Two women shall be grinded together. Uh -huh. The one shall be taken and the other left. So understand. Go ahead. Read that next one. Two men second. shall be in the field. The yes. one shall be taken and the other left. And so, so what we are seeing here is that one is going to be taken and the other is going to be left. And false doctrine would have it to believe that that is the rapture. Oh, that's not left behind? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. But but there, I thought there was a left behind part two. Man, there could be a left behind part 22. It still ain't right. It still ain't right, Brother Julius. Look at all of this scripture that we just read up until this point. And you tell me if anything that we read left us to a, a sense where we should be cuddly and sitting down and resting on our laurels or anything. Or if this was something that spoke, of, that spoke to urgency and that spoke to things not being the way that most people would want them to be. Because I don't know who want fire and brimstone to rain down on them. Not me, right? I don't know who want floods to come and drown the entire earth, save eight people. Not me. Brother Asaph. It, yes, sir. It said in that movie, it said somebody just vanished and they closed the phone up in the chair and the car was driving by itself and the airplane, the pilot. And the, what, what, the, what is this? I don't read. Well, well, this. You know, well, you know, well, that's the funny thing about the movies, Julius. They want to go ahead and say, guess what? You know, the, the, the pilot just the, 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 the pilot just was taken and the plane just. Well, first and foremost, these planes fly themselves. So if they was talking about the future, the plane probably would still would have still been flying, Julius. That's how, you see what I'm saying? They got cars that can drive themselves. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like so, they wasn't even projecting into the future to understand what this thing was truly about. It was just for TV. It was just for entertainment, bro. But people believe it, ASAP. And that is the unfortunate thing, right? And this is why Jeremiah said, woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. This is why the Lord said he is going to set up pastors after his own heart to teach his people. Why? Because there's nothing but falsities out here. And all we've been doing is subscribing to them. Come on, ASAP. Come on, bro. Man, they said two shall that man is gonna be one of one is gonna be taken and the other left, right? And they literally think that this means that somebody was taken off to the by and by, right? We gonna understand what this concept of taken really means. Teach That's it. what we gonna deal with. Teach Keep brother, reading, teach. brother. Finish it off. Thirty-seven. And yes, they sir. Answered and said unto him, "Well, Lord." Now think about it. He said that they were taken. They asked a very good question. He said, "These what the one shall be taken and the other left." So they asked a real good question. So where were they taken to? Where did they go? Right. What was his answer? And let's see if it sounds like they went anywhere. And he said unto them, wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Wheresoever the body is, right, thither will the eagles be gathered, the That's birds true. of prey. When do birds of prey gather? I ain't never had no birds of prey gather around me when I'm just walking down the block. It has to be a dead corpse. Woo! Or a dying corpse. Woo! You see, I you see, see it. it. You see it. I, I see mean, it. He, I, I mean, the Lord was putting it on the table all the way back since verse twenty-six. But I don't think anybody was picking up what he was putting down. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken, and the other left. And they yeah. answered and said unto him, "Where, Lord?" And mm -hmm. he said unto them, "Wheresoever the body is, thither where the eagles be gathered together." That's what they that's the brothers. Not, not, not up there. Not up there. There, something, yes, sir. Something, something gonna be eaten, eating, and being eaten. That's it. 
That is absolutely it. But Bring it out, bro. The Lord gave us just like he did. He always referred back to the old book because we have a sure word of prophecy. So let's go. Let's what? Let's go back to the old book. Let's go to Genesis 6. Let's go find out where all of this killing came from. From my understanding, the floods came and destroyed them all in the days of Noah. From my understanding, in the days of Lot, Sodom and Gomorrah and all the sister cities and everything around them was destroyed. That that don't sound that don't sound uh, uh fluffy and, and I don't I don't I don't hear soft cuddly music there. That sounds like that dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see why this was though, Julius. Let's take a look at this and see what it was about the people, right? Because he's saying as it is when the Lord come in the future, right? That is going to be like how it was in the past. So we got to go back to the past to make sure that we're making sense of what this taking actually means, right? Man. So let's see what it originated with. And we know, hint, hint, it originates in the mind, brothers and sisters. Let's Man. go to Genesis chapter six. We're going to pick it up at verse number one, brother. Genesis chapter six, and we'll pick it up at verse number one when you get there. Because, because, because again, false doctrine is dangerous, brothers and sisters. False doctrine is dangerous. Man. False doctrine will get you cut off a million percent of the time, right? We cannot go believe in what it is that we've been taught. I, I granted, I know our loved ones did the best that they can, but the yeah. Lord knows what faculties He gave us. He knows what level of understanding we have if we go ahead and truly apply it. So we gonna do it. We're going to look at it. Genesis 6 and 1, what it say, bro? And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. Uh-huh. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. Now, see, we're going to kill a false doctrine on the way to killing a false doctrine. Yeah. Right? They want to tell us that these sons of God were angels. Nope. Right? And these daughters of men were, were human. Right now, the Bible tells us that every seed after its kind, after its own right? kind, right? So, Tony P says this all the time we might have some two faced people walking around, but I ain't never seen no four faces and six winged people walking around this month. I ain't that's never what, seen it. That's what angels look, that's what angels look like. We can go read that in Ezekiel, right? So, understand that this ain't talking about that, but guess what? This is why we love the Bible. Brother Julius, Absolutely. and this is why we are so happy for the way that we have been taught to learn and understand and interpret the Bible because it truly indeed interprets itself. And this sure. verse number two is going to get explained here in just a moment. Read three. What it say, bro? And the Lord said, my spirit should not always strive with man. Uh huh. But, but that he is also flesh. Yes. Yet, yet his days shall be 120 years. Now stop and think about this, brother Julius. Man, before his days got cut down to 120 years, he wasn't going to live outside of a day, which we know is to be a thousand years. Right. Do you realize the Lord, man, the, the Lord is, is, is his infinite wisdom. Can you imagine if we had the ability to live for 950 years and have 950 years worth of sin on us? We, we would make he had to time. cut us down he in order to, to give us a chance to make it. We'd have had 950 some odd years worth of sin on us, Julius. What's the likelihood of us making it into the kingdom? Absolutely none, brother. Bro, none. he did this to save ourselves. He's saving us, yeah. <laughs> right, by cutting us down, if that make any sense. But it makes total yeah. sense to those that understand. What it say, bro? Verse 4. Yes. There were giants in the earth in those days. Uh -huh. and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, uh -huh. and they bear children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. That now, so 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 if if they caught it, brother Julius, yeah. that was the explanation right there, Man. right. You know, it's funny. My wife is from Michigan. We went to Michigan, and, and in Michigan they have this annual award called the Giant Awards. Wow. Right. And this for people that are doing wonderful things in the community, right? But false doctrine will have you to think that these giants were Nephilims. 
right? The verse told you at the end of verse four, uh -huh. right? That these were mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Right. They were simply men that were known among the people. Yes, Guess sir. what? Brother Julius is known among the people. Brother Julius is a man of renown. So is my you, brother Asaph. So is yes, my brother Bowie. No. Yes, sir. So is the Israel of God. Yes, sir. You see? Man. They want to take it to sports. Ja Morant is a giant man of renown, right? They want to take it to football. Tom Brady is a man of renown. People yes. know these people. These Flesh are blood. people. Flesh and blood, man. Flesh and blood people. Don't let Flesh them go ahead and hit you with the Jedi mind trick. No, these are flesh and these are men of renown, right? But what began to happen was those that followed and had the spirit of God became more like those that they married. So instead of the influence Come on, of, the, of Come God on, being upon the people, the people of the influence of the people was on the people of God. And Praise that's God. why he said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, right. even to the point that we see all of this death that we would that was just talked about when we read it in Luke, the 17th chapter. See, sisters and brothers, the reason why I wanted to title this the basic Bible one on one series is because the Bible is simple. It is. The, the Lord said, I have never hidden anything from you. He is a God of understanding. He's a teaching God. Amen. Speaking to the children of Israel, instructive because Amen. he loves us. Yes, sir. But the Bible, what do we read, Asap? Fools hate knowledge, didn't we? They despise it. So my brother is breaking it down to the simplicity that's in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that you can save yourself. You don't have to go. Hey, to hey, the, 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 Jesus, the Jesus that was more like the color of my shirt. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Malibu. No. The one his was, doctor. The, the one that was uh, hidden down. That's in right. That's right. Uh, Egypt means black man. That's right. Yes, sir. Man. Man, look, read, keep reading, brother, because this is good stuff. Uh -huh. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. I mean, I mean, habitual line steppers. I mean, just line after line, just crossing after crossing. It's like they mind just stay on wickedness. I done created them in my image. They done fell away from my likeness. Say that again, brother. Say it again. He created us in his image. We've fallen way from his likeness. That's what we're trying to get back to. If y'all can see that today in the world, just, just put us some, what we, what we want, ASAP. Give me our explanation points. <laughs> there you go. Because all I see is wickedness increasing, and they steady saying peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Where? 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 Please. Well, I guess I guess that's why I guess that's why they say it's the American dream because you got to be sleep to believe it, bro. If you awake, you see what's going on. Listen, if you awake, now. you see yeah. what's going on. L listen, they say, verse six. And yes, sir. And the Lord that He had made man on the earth and it grieved Him and His heart. I mean, we grieve the Lord, right? Because something that was supposed to be for greatness was turning into folly. What it say, bro? And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. The Lord was sorrowful that he had even made us. Go ahead, bro. What it say? But Noah, it is, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Man, do you know what? This is why I love this Bible, Julius. This is why I love this Bible. Because guess it. what? We could, man, we could be wrong 99 and a half times. When we get that half, we get that half that just goes to show us what it should be and what it could be, right? And he always does it. Man, we're looking at this thing, and he's just repentant of all of these different things. But then he says, but guess what? But even in the midst of all of these shenanigans that we yeah, read in the yeah. book, he said, Noah found grace. Jen, can you put Sister Lakeitra Davis 
statement back up there. Did you see that ASAP what she said? I did. I did. We got to catch that. Look, look what she said, ASAP. She said, thanks, Praise brother ASAP. I've never heard it broken down that way. Sisters Praise and God. brothers, the Praise Lord said, when your ministers or your teachers or uh, pastors are sent from God, they will feed you with Amen. knowledge and understanding. Amen. Then Amen. your eyes are open, sisters and Amen. brothers. Amen. Now you're on the right path to being healed. Amen. That's why we read Isaiah the sin, that the trees of righteousness. That's right. You know, that's this is right. why we read Isaiah 61. Amen. That's why the Amen. Lord said the spirit of the Lord is up on me. It was on Jesus, and he done shared with us. That's right. Because that was that self, didn't that self same spirit that was on Moses get put on the elders? Yes. It wasn't no different spirit. It was the self same spirit. You, we you take it, hey, you, we take you know what I say? We taking the same baton, bro. Yes. And we running with that same baton from generation to generation to generation to generation. Same baton. You know why, ASF? Look, sisters and brothers, because Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he changes not. Changes not. You want to know what he's going to do tomorrow? Look at what he did yesterday, and that's why we back here. That's why we back here looking at it, because, again, the Lord put this on the table when he was talking about it in Luke 17. So we got to come back here to understand what did you mean when you said they were going to be taken in the future? Well, the question needs to be, how were they taken in the past? Come on, right? Brother. Come on, let's brother. go see. Let's finish, finish. Keep on reading. Yeah, we're going to take that through 11 and we're going to move on. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. Mm -hmm. And Noah walked with God. Now, 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 brothers and sisters, I want y'all to remember verse nine because we're going to move into Genesis seven in a second. Right. But I want you to remember what it said here. These yeah. are the generations of Noah. Noah, Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, plural, right? Right. And Noah walked with God, right? Keep reading, Julius. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, uh, Ham, and Japheth. Yes, sir. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. That's right, and that's why he said this man, I got to cut this man's lifespan down because this yeah. thing is filled with violence. Now, we're going to go right into seven. Pick it up at seven in verse one, brother. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Wait a minute. That's the typo. He said, them have I seen righteous in this generation. He said, thee, for thee have I seen righteous before me Whoa. in this generation. You mean to tell me the righteousness of one saved seven other people? Hey, him and his household, he did it. Then he did it. Then, uh, did he do it for did he do it in the days of Rahab? Yeah, he did. Mm. Yeah, he did. But brother yeah. Julius, this is big because again, even with all of the foolishness going on, it says, Noah have I seen righteous. It didn't say Noah and his wife and Shem and Ham and Japheth and their wives. It said, Noah have I seen righteous, and yet he was able to save his entire household. Come so, down, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, understand what that means, right? Because that slapped me like a ton of bricks. I was like, man, guess what? I got some work to do. Me, I can't necessarily worry about everybody else, but if I do what I'm supposed to do, on, I have bro. an opportunity to help save everybody else. We have an example in the first book of the Bible, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother Asaph. That's why I just wanted to make that one little point, bro. Keep it going. This is good stuff. I need to read that again. And the yes, Lord sir. said unto Noah, come thou in all thy house. All <laughs> thy house. Not just him. Right? All his house. Go ahead. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Yes, sir. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, mm -hmm. the male and his female, and a beast that are not clean by two, the male and his female. That's that, see, because they always want to hit you with that two by two, but they never hit you with that seven by seven. No, right? they don't. They'll never hit you with the seven by seven. See, the seven by seven was of the clean beast that can both yes. be eaten and can be sacrificed. Yes. Those two by twos were the carnivorous beasts that were there to be the earth's garbage disposal. Ooh. I love it. But they want to go it. ahead. But they want to go ahead and make a delicacy out of the two by two, and then we wonder why we being taken. 
Are we y'all pick it up? Are y'all getting this? <laughs> they gonna get it. Praise Jesus. What it say, bro? Verse three of fowls also of the air by sevens. Yes. You're male and female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. Yes, sir. For yet seven days, and I will call it the rain upon the earth, 40 days and 40 nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. Now, let's see if all of this that was going on, did it shake Noah at all? Did he start getting real scared and disobedient and all that? What happened? And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. See, that's, that's what happens when you walk with God. You do what Ooh. he say. Right? He if knew you that love was me, be the case. If that's you right. love me, keep my commandments. If you walk with me, do what? Keep my commandments. Basic Bible 101. And, and, and guess what, brothers and sisters? That's not to say that you're not going to mess up. Come on, ASAP. The Bible tells us that the righteous fall seven times, but get back up again. Get right? Up. It's the mindset. Number one, you got to have a mindset to get up. Get up. You got to have a mindset to get up. Not doing them Jedi mind tricks on yourself. And now Satan got you. Yeah. Right? Because you know he's the accuser of the brethren. Man. This is why the Lord wants us to be as sin free as we can be. Right? So that we don't even have to go through the, the mental gymnastics. Right? We can just walk with him and know that everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. He can't lie. He can't lie. And he, he can't, can't lie. Him. Take that to the bank. Man. Cash in. Right? Somebody Sit down, me, Brother yeah. Julius. We're going to take me. you to a verdict. They, they what you say? Now, why, you, why you serve that God? Why you, why you passionate about that God? I said, because he's never lost a battle. Man. And the benefits are great. With the best benefit package in best the creation, eternal package. life on the right side of the kingdom. Ooh, forever, ever, ever, ever. Man, you can't, it don't get no better than that, Julius. Let's skip down to 11. What it say, bro? In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day where all the founders of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. That's right. I mean, and, and it said the windows of heaven were open because, you know, that firmament is like is like is like unto molten glass, Woo. brothers and sisters. So when he said windows, he literally meant windows. Yeah. Right. You open your window when it's yeah. raining and you see if you don't get water coming in your house. Right. And to keep water from coming out your house, you close the window. Right. Right. He done opened it up. To let this water come in to drown this entire earth, save eight and all that were on the ark, because that was where the righteousness was. Somebody's been taken. They gonna see a whole bunch of people was taken. That's what he said in Luke 17. But let's skip to verse 17. What it say? And the flood was 40 days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. Yes, sir. Skip down to 21, and let's see what happens when the ark was lifted up and the waters prevailed on the earth. What happened? And all flesh died that moved upon the on the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. So that's the kicker. So that means the whales didn't die. The alligators didn't die because they don't creep upon the earth. Come on, ASAP. I see it all the time. <laughs> they, where, where do you think the cleanup came from? Where do you think the cleanup came from? Oh, man. Oh, man. Keep reading, Brother Julius. This is too good. Listen, 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 22. listen sisters and brothers. Listen. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life. Of all that was in the dry land, died. Dang. You see how the Bible answered the Bible? They, well, people want, they want to go off and interpret. There's no need. There's no need, right? All in the dry land. The guy in the Baha'i faith asked me, you don't really believe that there was a flood and Noah and the ark and all that garbage? I said, not only do I believe, I know because they found fossilized fish skeletons in the top of the mountains you where the waters receded, receded wherever the fish 
they that's where they fossilize because mm -hmm. the Lord said the rocks gonna cry out to me. Mm -hmm. How do you think you get? How do you get? How do you think you get things like, say, for instance, the Grand Canyon? He leaves you little remnants just to kind of see certain things. But 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 the narrative that gets on the table is something else, and we just dismiss it. And okay, whatever. We because we ain't checking. Again, like I said, we ain't trying to pick up what he putting down, Julius. But we better pick it up. Man. What it say, bro? Verse 23. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowls of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And they that were with him in the ark. Finish it, what it's saying. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Amen. This is nothing but facts right here. So now, guess mm. what, Brother Julius? You know what time you know what time it is? Tell me, brother. It is me. time for us to go to the Hebrew starter kit. <laughs> Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. We're going to Deuteronomy 28. We go into the Hebrew starter kit, right? Because you know when you first find out you Israel, that the first place you at Deuteronomy twenty eight. I am going to watch. I'm going to watch this episode again, brother. I got to watch it at least two more times. We're gonna check this out, my oh, brother. Man. Praise God. Praise God. So the brother, this is genuine love. Yes, what we man. do, we 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 laugh and we have fun, but we call it enjoy. The Lord yes. say, "Those who love this word, yes, who love yes. His word, Amen. call and, and, and this feast day, and call this Sabbath a delight." Amen. Oh Amen. man, Amen. thank Amen. you, brother, for the Lord putting this on your mind. In Jesus yeah, name. praise God in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and that's all we doing, man. These these basics, these these basics. We got to get back to the basics. Back to the basics. We get back to it, right? Oh, so so now now now, brothers and sisters. I'm going to let you know right now, if you're looking at the screen, right, you see in Deuteronomy 28, I'm only going to give you verses one and two here. Then we got to skip. Because, see, okay. I ain't even going to hurt your feelings by what we could have had by reading, you know, one through 14. I don't even yeah. want to upset y'all tonight. No, I don't no even want to upset y'all tonight. So, so, so we're going to catch one and two, and we're going to do some skipping. Right. So that we can go ahead and look at this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Deuteronomy 28, give me verses 1 and 2, bro, and then we're going to go ahead and skip to 15. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That right there got me mad enough right there. Just the fact that we could have been above all the nations. Of the, and that ain't that, that ain't so we could beat them down and talk bad to them and all that kind of stuff. It was for us to serve like, like Joseph did. It was for us to serve like Solomon did. It was for us to be that shining example, brothers and sisters. Right? To what it say. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That is one very big little word. If. Yeah. If. That's why I had a lesson that I did called Jesus the if-then God. Because if you do X, then he will do Y, and not a moment before that. Wow. If. That's right, Sean. If. Yeah. <laughs> right? Let's skip down, though, Brother Julius, because like I said, I don't want to upset the people. You know, they probably having a good day. They could be thinking about all this good stuff they had, but that wasn't it. So I don't even want to make them mad. What do 15 say, bro? But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, we ain't going to read all 68 of these because I don't want to depress them. I don't want to depress them either. So I don't want to go all the way through <laughs> verse 68 and get them depressed either. So we're yep. just going to pull a couple things out. Let's go look at 25 and 26, what it say. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them mm -hmm. and, and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Now, one thing I'll say on learning something on the way to learning something, 
Yeah. When the Queen of Sheba wanted to learn about the wisdom of Solomon, she had to come to Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Right. I'm going to show you how perfect the Lord is in everything that he does. Right. When the Queen of Sheba came to, to Jerusalem, Solomon was playing a home game. Man. Right. I love it. But when Israel got removed into all the kingdoms of the earth, uh -huh. now we playing away games. We done got scattered everywhere, so everybody ain't got to come to Jerusalem no more. Now what you do, you come next door to your neighbor. Wherever your neighbor is, yeah. across the four corners of the earth, and guess what? Because the Lord said that this thing got to go for. So he took all of the priests, right? And instead of them being in one centralized location in right. our own wickedness, right, still went to the four corners so we can go ahead and still wake up to who we are and get right back to the job that we were supposed to be on. Peace, brother Asa. Home Wonderful. games and away games. Wonderful. We on these away games until the Lord bring us back home, brothers That's and sisters. Right. What it say in the next verse, brother? Verse 25. Yes, sir. The Lord shall call thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Uh-huh. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and thou shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth, and thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto Ooh. the beasts of the earth, and no man shall afraid them away. Wait a minute. So when we think about what we read there in that Luke 17 then, uh -huh. right? And it talked about where the bodies are, the eagles would be gathered. Read that 26 again. And thy carcass, that's your dead body. Your or, dead your body. Theory, shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the field of the earth. And no man shall fray them away. No man is going to fray them away. No man right? can help. So you know what that goes to show? When does that happen? When you die so when they were taken their lives were taken away from them they weren't taken anywhere i.e no rapture no rapture no rapture but we figuring this out we learning something on the way to learning something so now right we're gonna find out more about this taken we had to go to this seven we had to go from 17 here right, to both Genesis and to Deuteronomy just yeah. to get a further explanation of what's going on. But now we're going to come back and deal with this word taken in context even further. So let's go to the book of Job. Let's go to the book of Job. Yes, sir. We're going to Job 24. And we're going to see what Job had to say about this thing. And we go, and after we leave Job 24, stay right there in Job, because we're gonna flip over to Job 34 right after that. Cause I don't I think he needed to say it again for the people in the back. Job 24. Man. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. We are so happy that you are here with us Man. for these basic instructions right oh this basic but 101 101 Man. not 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 801 not 701 right 101 basic. right mm. job 24 and verse 1 what it say my brother we're gonna get verse 1 and then we're gonna skip down to 13 why seeing times are not hidden from the almighty do they that do they that know him not see his days do they, that's a rhetorical question. He's saying, do they that know him not see his days? Do they not see this stuff? He said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the coming of the son of man. Right. You're supposed to see this. You're supposed to know this soft and cuddly Jesus ain't coming at that time because the lamb of God already came. The next one to come is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah. I, I ain't trying that. to play with I ain't trying to play with lions until, like Brother Bowie say, you get some straw and you get some steak, and the and and the and the lion go get the straw. That's when I'm ready to go play with the lion. That's right. Right. But up until that point, I'm not playing with him. Right. What it say, Julius? Then this I got to read this verse one again. Go he ahead. Said, Why seeing times? Are not hidden from They're them not hidden. Right? They're not hidden. 
he, he told us to, he told us to end from the beginning. Go ahead. Do they that know him not see his days? Apparently not. It should be plain, but apparently not. What it say? Verse 15. 13. Let's go to 13. Verse 13. It reads. Oh boy, this is too good. Verse 13. They are those, they are of those that rebel against the light. Mm. They know not the ways thereof, nor abide in the past thereof. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy. Mm. And in the night is as a thief. Yes. The eye also of the adulterer waited for the twilight, saying, no eye shall see me, mm. and disguises his face. Man, when we when we realize that there's all kind of eyes in the wings of these angels, we ain't getting over, brothers and sisters. <laughs> we might be getting by temporarily. That's why we're supposed to forsake it and let it go. Man. Keep on reading. What it say, Julius? Man. Uh, that verse 16, it says, yes, it says, in the dark, they dig through houses which they have marked for themselves in the daytime. No, you mean they were, so, so they was plotting, Julius? They was plotting in the daytime to take something from somebody in the night. And we wonder why all of that killing took place. And we wonder why one was taken and one was left. And we wonder why all of these things was transpiring. What it say, bro? For the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. If one know them, they are in the terrors of the shadows of death. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Skip down to 22 and what it say, bro. He draweth also the mighty with his power. Mm -hmm. He rises up and no man is sure of life. No man is sure of life, right? Go ahead. Man, though it be giving him to be in safety, whereupon he resteth. Yet his eyes are upon their ways. His eyes are upon our ways, brothers and sisters. And the ways of the majority were not right to the point that he says they're going to die the death of the wicked unless they repent. Right? What it say, bro? They are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as all other and cut off at the top of the ears of corn. Woo! So they going to be exalted for a little while. You might see them prosper. And that's why Asaph said, hey, I, he's a, when I saw, I was seeing the prosperity of the wicked. It was vexing me. It vexed him. It was vexing him. He said, until I see that the Lord done set him up in slippery places. Right? And so what we seeing is that wow. they are going to be brought low and they are taken out. Hey, hey, what did mom and daddy used to say back in the day, Julius? I brought you in this world and I will what? Take you out. I was read that again for him. I don't think they heard you. He said, verse 23, though it be given him to be in safety, whereupon he rested, yet his eyes are upon all upon their ways. They uh -huh. are walking for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as, as all other and cut off at the top of the ears of corn. That's the ears of corn, man. They said, guess what? I have, Father said, I have brought you into this world. Yep. And I will take you out. Not take you up. Man. Taken man. out of the way. If, if, if y'all parents told y'all that, let me see some thumbs up. Because I know mine, boy. Both. I'm hey, 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 Julius, you about to have me throw up a big toe along hey. with these two thumbs. I'm man, listen. Hey, hey, brother, my both my big toes are like thumbs. <laughs> I got four, I got four of my brother. <laughs> because my mother had to tell me that one time, and I didn't dare ch challenge my dad. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I brought you into this world, I will take you out. Well, now we know where they got that from. We done read it, <laughs> right? We, we read, read it. But guess what, though? We got to stay here in Job. So flip over to Job 34. And let's see if Job has something similar to say, just in case it didn't get picked up in 24. Hang on, sisters and brothers. I know evil is, evil doers are out there, but they soon shall be cut off. They're yes, going to they be shall. taken out. Yes, they shall. Yes, they shall. Yes, they shall. They and all we want to do is make sure that we are as righteous as we can be so we don't die the death of the wicked. Wow. 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 I got, to watch, I got to watch this two more times, they sell. Hey, hey, I praise God, it. brother. Praise God. Hey, hey, again, we just breaking down these basics, bro. We just breaking down these basics. 
right? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Just read. It's nothing new up under the sun. That's it's just it. you have not been taught, heard, or understood. That's it. The simplicity, it. brother Asaph, that's in Christ Jesus. Hey, guess what? So simple that it go over our heads like yarmulkes and kufis sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Go over our head like yarmulkes and whatever. <laughs> you better say it. You better say it. Man, Job, Job 34, brother. I'm yeah, we in 34 here. now. So Job 34. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start this at verse number 15, Job 34. And we're going to pick this up at verse number 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Mm -hmm. And his ears are open up to their cry. Man, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Go Ooh. ahead. Man, the righteous cry. And the Lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles. Now hold on, I think I, I think I, I think I lost you, Julius. Where you at? What verse? Okay, Job thirty-four. I just read verse seventeen. Uh, Job, I'm sorry. You know what? That sounded good. I'm it did. Up. That's why I said hold on because I think that sounds good. That's why I was like, hold on. Man, I got. I'm sorry, sister. No, 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 no. Hey, guess what? That probably should have been in there. I'm gonna have to add that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch this now. I need to go ahead and make sure I grab that to plug I'm like, in. I'm like, I'm looking at that. I'm like, man, this thing is flowing. Look at this. Man, that thing was going. Man, you oh do this, man. You done put something in the lesson. Good stuff. <laughs> no, 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 34, 15 to 22. Ooh, I love it. All flesh shall perish together, and man shall turn again unto dust. That, so you mean to tell me so when them bodies and, and, and the eagles and the vultures and everything gathering out after after they done decided to leave whatever it is that they going to leave and not even mess with that no more, the rest of that just going to turn to dust? Yeah. Mm, what it say, bro? If now thou hast understanding, hear this. Hearken to the voice of my words. Yes, sir. Shall even he that hated right govern? And will thou condemn him that is most just? Nope, the Lord ain't gonna let that happen. What is saying? Is it fit to say to a king, "Thou art wicked," and to princes, "You are ungodly"? Uh, not, 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 not if you don't want to die at the hand of one of them two, right? <laughs> Go ahead. How much less to him that accepted not the persons of princes, mm -hmm. nor regarded the rich more than the poor? For yes. they are all, they are all are the work of his hands. You mean, so you mean to tell me that we ain't supposed to be looking down on nobody? He sweat said nobody. Nobody. <laughs> we ain't supposed to do it, brothers and sisters. Nobody. Don't allow ourselves to get that puffed up. You ain't nothing but some handsome dirt and some beautiful dirt. So you're telling me I'm 200 and plus pounds of a... Uh, uh, Dust. Which it's, 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 it's handsome dust, though, brother. You see what I'm saying? But we dust nonetheless, my brother. You see what I'm saying? Thank we you, going brother. back, bro. I needed that encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you know that's my brother right there. What it say, bro? Oh, my God. Verse 20. In a moment shall they die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight, and pass away, and the mighty shall be taken away without hand. The mighty shall be what? Taken away. Taken. Without hand. Now. Well, bro. Well, guess what? That may not necessarily mean that. Keep reading, bro. For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. Yes, sir. There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. It can't happen. It can't happen. Can't happen. Right? So, so, so we might as well come clean like that song that I wrote. We might as well come clean with our Lord because we can't hide it. We can't hide it. But what we saw here is, it says, and the mighty shall be taken away without hand. What without what hand? Without that right hand. And if you ain't got that right hand, whew, you ain't got nothing coming. Oh my gosh. You ain't got none coming. We only got a couple more, Julius. We almost done. Let's go to Psalms 9. Uh, oh, hey, Seth. Let's go to Psalms 9. This is good stuff right here because, again, 
This was all predic Julius. And this was the crazy thing. This is how the Lord helped to just bring things together because this was all predicated on that Luke 17. And yeah. this is the reason why after having going through these, we going to close it out with that same Luke 17, okay. but with the understanding that we now are receiving of this thing. Amen. I, I love, you know, I love this word because the sister brothers, brother Asa, the book said his wisdom is past finding out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. How could stuff. you not be? How could you not stand in awe, sisters and brothers? Amen. How could you not stand in awe? Amen. Well, God, who got an instruction manual, we call it the Bible, mm -hmm. that is designed for life, for liberty, that give you wonderful commandments for life, for liberty, for justice, for, for peace, for equity, for, for righteousness. And for everybody. For righteousness, for peace, for everybody. Oh my gosh. Whosoever will. Love you too, Chris Gordon. Love you too, sis. Amen. Love you Amen. Too. Oh, man. It, it's just a joy when brothers get together and sisters get together and Amen. you talk about the word of God. Amen. And you talk about, you know, they ask me, ASAP, why are you always talking about that Bible? I said, because it's all about life. And everything y'all talk about is carnal, temporary, that's, and that's death. It. That's it. It's just that it's just that simple. It is just that simple. Oh my gosh. Brother Julius, believe it or not, we done had so much fun. We only got four more verses. Oh. Come on, man. Psalm 9, sisters and brothers. Psalm 9. Yes, sir. Psalms yeah. 9. Psalms mm -hmm. 9. We want verses 12 through 17. It reads, when he make an inquisition for blood, he remembers them. He forgetting not the cry of the humble. Praise God he doesn't Praise forget God. the cry of the humble. Yes, sir. What is that? Have saying? mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Amen. Please, please. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Mm -hmm. That thou liftest me up from the gates of death. That's right. What is saying? That I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. We are to rejoice in that salvation, brothers and sisters, because that salvation is high. Right? <sighs> we know our Redeemer living. We know our Redeemer living. Yes. And he coming for us at the time appointed. Yes. Right. What it say, bro? Verse 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Whoa. So they, again, just like we read, you got people that roll around. Oh, man, we going to break into that house at night. Yeah. We ain't going to do it right now, though. But that one right there, yeah, man, I see some stuff in the window. You know what I mean? We going to come back for that. And what we're seeing right here is their own foot was what? Taken in the net that they created. Ooh. Now, let's see if this taken is that taken. What it say, bro? The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Mm. Yes, sir. What it say, 17? Man, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. That's right. So we don't forget them. Don't forget them because guess what? All that vengeance that's going to be coming as it pertains to that Luke 17 when the Lord was talking about that yeah. in the future, that's going to be because those, those people forgot God. Right? But he is so merciful, brothers and sisters, that think about that thief on the cross. Man. If you will repent, and really be sincere. Now that don't mean that don't mean be a habitual line step and then think you're gonna be able to cross over the line at the time. No, 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 that don't mean that. That don't mean that. That don't mean that. That that thief was sincere, and that's why the Lord said what he said to him. Yes. It's about that sincerity, yes. brothers and sisters. It's about that sincerity. We ain't always gonna get it right, right? But we gotta strive to be right. Right? right, and we gotta have many, many, many more ticks in the good column than we do in the bad. It's not about works because we know it's by grace, right? right? But that don't mean that it ain't work to do. 
Come on, ASAP. Bring it out, bro. Let's go. Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11. I am here. Praise God. Proverbs 11. What it say, bro? Proverbs 11. We're going one through eight, sisters and brothers. Proverbs 11, one through eight. It reads, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Amen. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Amen. And I, said, and, I, and I and and let me apologize because I said eight, but I moved Proverbs 11, 1 through eight. My apologies, family. That's why the screen is right. <laughs> I got you, I got Amen. You. Thank you, brother. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. Amen. But the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. If they continue, it shall enough will. Go ahead. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Now, see, now, now wow. riches might profit you if you're dealing with somebody wicked. They might say, all right, man, go ahead and come give me $1,000, right? What's $1,000 to somebody who own everything? Nothing. Nothing, <laughs> right? Nothing, right? Go ahead, bro. What it say? Verse 5, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. Yes. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. He's going to fall by his own wickedness. What it say? The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. You mean to tell me that you have the ability to die in the midst of your sin? Keep sinning and find out. I don't want you to, right? That's why he wants us to repent, right? The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them. But, but transgressors shall be taken in their own arms, right? What it say, bro? When a wicked man dieth. Whoa, so you mean to tell me the taken that he is making reference to is somebody dying? Man. Not being taken up to the by and by? Well, the carcasses are. That's where the eagles are going to be. Whoa. So they ain't get taken to Publix. They ain't get taken to Piggly Wiggly. They breath got taken from their body. They are no longer in existence. Taken in their own naughtiness. Right? What it say, bro? When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. And the hope of unjust men perishes. Go ahead. The righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked cometh in his stead. The wicked cometh in his stead. And is this not a prime example of what we read in Genesis 6 and 7? We yeah. saw all of that wickedness, but we saw the righteous delivered out of his trouble. Right? We see in this, right? But they want to tell you that taken is a good thing. I can't read that. Definitely not in the context that it was being said in Luke 17, but they want to take that and tell you that you floating off somewhere. Context is important, brothers and sisters. Context mm -hmm. is important. Very important. We almost out of here. We are almost out of here. Mm -hmm. We want Amos, the fifth chapter, my brother. And after this Amos 5, we gonna go back to that Luke 17. And hopefully we will truly be able to say we picking up what the Lord was putting down in this instance. Man. Amos chapter five. Yes, sir. Amos five. We gonna pick this up at verse 18, bro. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. What and, and and is this not what the Lord was saying in 17, in Luke 17? That's why we're going to go read it after this. Because it says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. See, everybody think that the day of the Lord is when they're going to get raptured off with some soft, cuddly music and everything is going. No, somebody's not reading stuff that's included in these 66 books, these 11 plus 100 chapters and more of these 30 plus thousand verses. Somebody ain't reading. Because it's all through here. It's all through here. They told me that the rapture is a secret rapture, and it's going to be 
quiet and it's going to be serene. I said, where you read that at? The Lord said this, the earth is going to be reeling to and fro. The mountains are going to be quaking. That's right. That's right. That's right. The sea going to be tossed to and fro. You better say it. You better say it. That's what we read, Julius. But they don't want you to believe your lying eyes. They don't want you to believe your lying eyes, right? So close your eyes. Close, you know, close your eyes. Just listen as you pass the plate around 17 times. <laughs> they, hey, book, hey, the book said they're going to make merchandise to you, brothers and sisters. That's what the book said. Said they're going to make merchandise. What it say, bro? <sighs> Verse 19. As if a man. Let me start it again because yes, sir. The, Lord yes, sir. Said, the Lord said, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Mm -hmm. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Man, oh, you, 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 the, you the ducked one. You done ducked the shoe and got hit with a bat. <laughs> I, you, you can't escape this thing, Julius. Go ahead. What it say? Or oh, went into the house and leaned on his leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Mm. Man, you know what that sound like? This sound like that movie Silent uh, Final Destination. Oh yes, it do. That Man. this definitely sound like some I Final mean, Destination. Guess what? Guess what? I think they be reading the book when they be coming up with these movies. I think so too, bro. I think they be reading the book. That's why they want to keep you out of the book because they don't want you to know where they get their storylines from. Oh man, can can you imagine? <laughs> You ducking and dodging, and you think you safe, and you you on a big giant rat trap, and then he snapped your back. That's it, and it's over, and it's over. <laughs> what it say, bro? Verse twenty. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? No brightness in it. But they tell you that they can't wait for sweet and cuddly Jesus to come and take them off to the by and by. Malibu. Malibu 90210. What it say, bro? 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. I tell you what, and guess what, brothers and sisters? His feast days are to be kept in their appointed times and in their appointed seasons. Make sure that they're being kept right. Right. That's talking about for those that are actually trying to do what does they of the Lord. And yep. then for those that are trying to do every other thing under the under under the sun and think that the Lord is cool yeah. with that. He ain't cool with that either. He despised that, too. They it were needs married. to be it needs to be done how he said so. They were buying. They were selling. They were marrying. They were giving in marriage. They were eating. They were drinking. It sounded like feasting. Uh, they yep. were partying. Yep. The Lord said, I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Won't do it. What it say? No, you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings. I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Mm, what it say, bro? Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. That's right, because guess what? You think it's sweet sounding music and it's just a tinkling in his ear. He ain't even, he, because again, it's all about the mindset and going all the way back to that same mindset that we was talking about in that Genesis 6. It shall not always strive, my spirit shall not always strive with man, right? Because man want to go ahead and start doing some Puff Daddy remixes. See, nah, we supposed to keep this thing as it is, brothers and sisters. What that 24 say, bro? But let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. So again, anytime we go ahead and see the shenanigans and the foolishness and all of those things, the Lord will always flip that thing on its head and show you what that is supposed to be as a reminder so that we could go ahead and operate in what's right, brothers and sisters. So we're going to come back to where we almost started this at. Right. Because we started off in Hebrews and then Proverbs. But we're going to come back to the meat of this. We're going to go back now to yeah. that Luke 17. Having yeah. understood what it is that we just read and put righteously putting together all of the things that we just did. Let's see if we can truly see and truly pick up 
what the Lord was putting down when he was having this conversation. Luke 17, brothers and sisters. Beautiful lesson, brother Asaph. Praise, Praise God. God. Beautiful. Praise God. Praise God. Mm. Luke 17. We're going to start it at verse number 26. Listen carefully, brothers and sisters. Because this is where false doctrine and the Bible cannot coexist. One has to be lying. Man. And I promise you, it ain't the book. It ain't the book. So we need to be making sure that we discarding what I know. Guess what? We didn't heard it from people we love. Right. And they meant well. So we not we not we not smacking them down. The Lord going to smack down the ones that didn't mean well. He going to handle that. I ain't even yeah. worried about it. That's right. right. But we got loved ones and we got family members and we got mm -hmm. those throughout the all the generate. They meant well. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The Lord saw fit for us to have a surefire understanding of what this is. Yes. And when we know better, we do better. And yes. so now we have an opportunity to take this back to them, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. So let's look at this again with the understanding that we now have and see if this is made any more plain as it pertains to taking the death of the wicked and not the rapture. Beautiful. 17 and 26, what it say, bro? And they, uh, 17 and 26, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Yes, sir. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Yes, sir. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Mm -hmm. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. I don't understand, Brother Julius, how you can see all of this death and then think that the taken is something beautiful. No. Somebody done had a pass to read them one verse and then get to talking for 40 minutes uh -huh. instead of doing what we did, Brother Julius, right. which is go line upon line, line yes. upon line, yes. precept upon precept, here a little and there a little to yes. the law and to the testimony, brother. What it say? Verse 30, even thus shall it be in a day when the Son of Man is revealed. Now, we just read in Amos what it's going to be like. When the son of man is revealed, there's no brightness in it at all. A day of darkness. A day dark. of darkness. There's no brightness in it at all, brothers and sisters, mm. because of what has to transpire. Because of what has to happen. Now, brother Julius, skip down to 34 and what it's saying. I tell you, in that night, there should be two men in one bed. Mm -hmm. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. And that's not to say that wasn't no funny business going on in there. Guess what? They say when two are there, you 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 have more warmth. You know what I mean? There have been times when you had a whole be a whole people come together and come together just so they can warm up somebody who yeah. needed some warmth, right? Because their collective body heat was better than that of their own. That ain't mean it was no shenanigans. But guess what? The Lord knows the mindset of people. Yeah. Right. So if one is taken, one is taken in their own naughtiness. And if one is left, naughty that means boy, you're naughty boy, the naughty boy. Right. Right. So one is taken and one is left. They would have you to think that the one that was left. Right. Or left behind was a bad thing. Actually, the one that was left behind, it was a good thing. They were spared. They were spared. They were spared. It's just like understanding that Scrooge had it right the whole time when he said, bah humble. Had it right the whole time. We think he the, he the daggone Grinch of the movie. He the only one that got it right. He was the Noah of his day. He said, bah humble. You see what I'm saying? And everybody trying to convince us that it's right. 
and and, and yeah, and, and and then you saw what that show, and you saw what that showed you at the end, and they done flipped him at the end, right? <laughs> We got now nah, don't get flipped, brothers and sisters. Stick with what you read. That's right, brother. Stick That's with right, what yeah. we read, right? Go ahead, bro. Verse 35: two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. The one shall be killed, and the other shall be left alone. What it say, bro? Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Yes, sir. 37. Make it plain for him, bro. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Now, how come it didn't say, Wherever soever the body is, I will meet you there and take you off to heaven? Because, it ain't say that. Because they are killed. That's the death of the wicked and not the rapture. Not the rapture. Don't go for the false doctrine. As I like to say, don't go for the Brett Favre pump fake. Don't go for the okie doke. I guess you got to say the Pat Mahomes pump fake now. I guess you, you know what I mean? But but uh, don't go for it. Somebody read. So, somebody find those producers of those Left Behind series. Man. Share this lesson with them. They need to leave that behind in file 13. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the Lord will be merciful and they'll be left. That's it. Ver but instead it, of being taken. That's right, brother. I see you. They're going to wheel. They're going to wheel the thrill. Wheel. wheel the That's thrill. it, brother. That's it. Yes, sir. Hey, Campbell, brother. Hurry up. Make it home safely. Make it home safe, bro. Jesus name. Man, Amen. Name Jesus. Hey, it is my prayer, family. That um that we really got something from here this evening and again it, it it just really just this Luke 17 just sat on me in such a way where you know Lord just began to pull some stuff out and 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 and, and this was just one of many many instances where we have to make sure that context is key right because don't get me wrong if we wanted to we could have went to second kings and saw uh second kings 2 and saw where elijah was taken into the second heaven but second he was heaven. taken into the second heaven in a whirlwind he didn't go to the third heaven where else, where, where else we could have went a that where else we could have we could have we could have went to acts 8 we could have went to acts 8 when philip was taken by the spirit of the lord but guess what he was found in azotus so yes, he yes. was found located somewhere else, right? So, yeah. so, so it's one thing to be taken away or to be taken out. It's another thing to be taken up, like Jesus was taken up in a cloud in Acts, the first chapter. Well, what, right? happened, what about John thirteen? I mean, uh, John thirteen. What did he say? Be, be, because because the Lord made it plain and said, "Where I go, you cannot come." No rapture. No rapture. He says, I am from above right. and ye are from beneath. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. Make Where it. I go, you cannot come. Cannot. This is why he said, I go to prepare a place. And if and I will come again. This is why we read in Matthew, the sixth chapter, when we read the Lord's Prayer, our Father, which art in heaven, thy kingdom come. I have never read that verse to say thy people go. It says thy kingdom come, Microphone not thy drop. people go. Microphone drop. Excellent. Brother Asaph. Praise God. Man, brother, man, look, look. look, look. I'm at a loss of words here. Praise God. Sisters and brothers, I want to thank my brother ASAP from the ATE or IOG Atlanta camp. Sisters and brothers, Bob Brady, he bought us tonight part six Amen. of the Basic Bible 101 series. Man, take it, the death of the wicked and not the rapture. Go back and read, watch this episode again. Share it with Amen. somebody. Amen. Share it with Amen. somebody. Amen. And then, Maybe they could save themselves from this untoward generation. Amen. Man, brother, Amen. Asap, I want to shout out to all the people. Uh, stay tuned. Go right over from the bomb of Gilead. 
go over to BHGTV, Pastor Johnson. He's going to have an afterthought on this lesson, Brother ASAP. Amen. We're going to do the same. We're going to switch over real quick to yep. BHGTV. Stay tuned, sisters and brothers, for another powerful episode of the Bomb of Gilead next Amen. week. Next week, we will have another guest teacher because the people is asking for it. They like the one -on basic one-on-one -on -one Bible series. Amen. So we're going to see who's on deck next week. But thank you for spending your Thursday evenings here with us. Amen. Here at the Bomb again. Yeah, shout out to Team Bomb. Shout out to all of you out there, sisters and brothers. And we pray that the Lord opens somebody's understanding. Amen. On behalf of the Bomb and Gilead, on behalf of the Israel of God, and all the other Israel of God uh, uh, platform. Amen. Thank you. And Brother Asaph, thank you. And Brother. I'm going to holler at you at the appointed time. Oh, man, you already know, my brother. I appreciate yeah. you. Again, this is glad to be back with the family. Sister Genesis, thanks for, for everything in the background, handling the business, the whole Bomb of Gilead team. My brother, appreciate y'all. Man. Yeah. Tom, Sister Debbie, and man, we just love y'all two pieces. ASAP. I'm finna go right over to BHG TV and listen to Pastor Johnson. The people gonna yeah. join us. Come join us. Come and join hey, us. Hey, coach, I'm on my way. We're on our way. We'll see you. <laughs> Good night, sister, brother. Much love in Jesus' name. Baby girl, get daddy his bomb. Yeah, Jeremiah 8, 20 through 22. The harvest is past. The summer is ended and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people and my hurt, I am black. Astonishment have taken hold on me. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? The bomb of Gilead, give me the remedy. Father, correct my path. The bomb of Gilead, you all that I ever need and all that I ever had. The bomb of Gilead, don't keep on healing me. Father, please have my back. The bomb of Gilead, all that we ever need and all that we ever had. The drama in the streets of my people is dying. And I'm starting to lose sleep from all the grieving and crying. I don't trip because I believe it's kingdom design. The ambition shall be yours, you don't ever be lying. Unlike the false prophet and the reverend be lying. Talk about we going to heaven, not the earth when we dying. Or oh, how you coming back full of rage and violence. Opposition and these critics will forever be silent. While Satan and his history talks to the lake of fire. And you can't have anything your heart desire. Without no consequences, you know Satan a lie. Got you thinking we ain't gotta keep the laws of the Bible. And he didn't have a bomb, now we dead on arrival. With a reprobate mind, and we can't survive. Unable to get the false doctrine from inside him. I ain't never met a zombie till I stood beside him.